today's episode. Ross Lyon gets thrown a curveball. That's a good analogy. Daniel Pearce tests his lungs for a good cause. And we see Matthew Pavlich in his jocks. I mean, I don't really normally get around in my jocks that often. G'day guys and welcome to the Freo Newsroom. We are coming off a disappointing loss which resulted in a few injuries. That's right. How is the shoulder, Gaz? It's not too bad. It actually feels a lot better today than what it has in the previous, so I'm getting there. It was a little bit innocuous what happened. It probably wasn't much. Uh, just the footy hit me on the hand in the wrong position and popped my shoulder. So hopefully back in a few weeks, but I'm not too sure. It's good to hear. To make matters worse, after the 58-point loss, we were compared to the great Sir Edmund Hillary. Ross, sorry, um, during the week on Melbourne Radio, you spoke about last season, and I hope last season. You're doing a good job, though. Like, yeah. And if I could extend that analogy a little bit further in regards to this season, does tonight shake the confidence that can emulate Sir Edmund Hillary and climb the summit? Um, that's a good analogy. We've never com compared ourselves to that. Context, during, yeah. Sir Edmund? Mm -hmm. yeah. I can wax lyrical about a lot of things, but... Uh, <laughs> um. Ross has been dished some pretty funny questions in his time as coach. You're quite brilliant, Shane. Yeah, terrific. I'd have to say that would be the best. Now, earlier in the week, you might, may have seen some UWA students around Perth selling their <coughs> annual newspaper, Prosh, dressed in costume. It's a spoof paper that pokes fun at current events and raises money for charity. That's right. Have a look who made the back page of this paper. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Our very own Matthew Pavlich. According to Prosh, Matthew Pavlich is the new pin-up boy for the newly announced Men's Lingerie Football League. That's right, we spoke to the big Maverick about his thoughts on being the face of the league. Yeah, look, I'm not entirely sure where they got the picture from. I mean, I don't really normally get around in my jocks that often, but I guess when I do, um, you know, in front of goalposts is somewhere that I normally try to do it. So, yeah, unfortunately, they've got the picture, and I guess I'm really looking forward to being an ambassador for the, uh, the Football League, the Londres Football League. Really happy to be involved, and yeah, stoked that uh, I get the opportunity. The Burning Question is a weekly segment on the website where the players are asked a series of questions. That's right, and this week's question was, if you had the power, what's the one thing you would change about the world? And what would you change about the world, Krause? Actually, don't worry about it. You couldn't do it on the day, so we don't need to make something up. It's for the video. About the world? <laughs> um, oh, my God. These are always so hard. I hate doing these. I hate doing it. Um, change about the world. Yeah, oh, do you want me to slow down and say poverty? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to ask again? Yeah, okay. Uh, poverty. Yeah, I know, Gaz, I'm terrible at thinking on the spot, but having a look at some of these answers, I think young Tanner Smith might have a bit of Scottish heritage running through his blood. World peace. World peace. There's so many, I can't pick one. Freedom. Freedom? Yeah, channeling his inner William Wallace there with that answer. Freedom. Freedom! Club gets behind some great charities. The other week was the Starlight Foundation. This week we're supporting the Lung Institute of WA. Daniel Pierce is an ambassador for the charity and he's testing his lungs with a few teammates. So today we just had the Lung Institute of WA come in and uh, run our lungs through uh, the yeah through the lung test to see how strong they were. Uh, myself, Cam, and Spurry were in there and um, yeah had a bit of fun with it just to test out the machine and see where our lungs are sitting at. <coughs> <laughs> if I could ever imagine a smoker's cough, I imagine I could imagine that I had it straight after the after blowing in the in the machine. The reason I got involved with uh, with the Lung Institute was I've got a little cousin of mine who's got cystic fibrosis. So being being around him and um, you know seeing seeing everything that his family goes through and and see the, the the fight that he fights every day and the way he keeps carrying on was was a big reason why I wanted to get involved with this the research and and uh, the, you know all the donations that go forward to to cystic fibrosis and. The, and the Lung Institute, uh, you know, go a long way in helping um, a lot of people. It's a great cause, so make sure next time you see your doctor, ask to get your lungs checked. It can prevent health issues later down the track. That's right, and this weekend when we take on Essendon on Sunday, it's shaping up to be a beautiful day, isn't it, Zoom? Spot on, Krause. As you two once sung, it is going to be a beautiful day. 32 degrees, nice warm sun, 
and uh, make sure if you're sitting at the city end that you slip slop slap because it's going to be uh, it's going to be quite warm. Come bounce down. Also, if you head to Gate Eight, you'll be able to get a free lung test uh, organised by the Lung Institute of WA. They're looking for WA's biggest lung, so deep breath and give it your all. Thanks very much. Thanks, Moz. That's it for the Freo Newsroom this week. We'll leave you with what will be on the big screen 60 seconds before the bounce down. Our very own Eskimo Joe wrote this tune and we're hoping to get it echoing through the Purple Army on Sunday. So when you hear it, make sure you're up out of your seats, have a little jig and get involved. <laughs> Woo!